But then instead of continuing up the road, they then drive across the grass and go back the way they came, which was the one thing that made me think like, did these guys like scope me out and then like come specifically from my cars at 520 in the morning? So let me tell you, my day just got pretty interesting. Now, it's Sunday. I don't generally post on a Sunday, but when things happen and I need your help, that's when we start talking. So yesterday I had a party at my house, and during that party, there was cars all over the place. We had to move some stuff around, and I had to shuffle some cars and move my Ferrari out of the way so that we can get a car out. So that's why my Ferrari's on my lawn a little bit, right? Fast forward, my day got a little weird because the morning comes along, the kids go outside to play. I'm sitting in the, in the rocking chair outside and watching these kids in the front lawn. And then I look over and I'm like, it's funny, um, my trunk isn't closed on my Ferrari. And I start thinking, I'm like, all right, well, I'm, it doesn't matter. I'll just go close the trunk, but I wonder why my trunk is open. So I decide just out of sheer boredom and it's eight in the morning, I'll, I'll just look why my trunk was open, who got in my car last to then like just start pushing buttons because it's a weird thing to have my trunk open. Or I had one of the uh, Giants players borrowed my car yesterday to go to an event in Long Island. So I was like, all right, maybe it'd be weird. I'm just curious if the trunk was open the entire time and he like tried, he didn't know how to close it. So he was driving the entire way on the, uh, on the emergency release. Turns out I look and I'm like, oh, no, no crap, I'm looking at my cameras and, and people tried to steal my car last night. And I was like, whoa, like this is, this is not a drill. This is like people pulled up to my house, two guys in ski masks wearing gloves, came up, tried to get in my Ferrari, tried to start it. And then they started going around and, and trying to steal the other cars in the, in the driveway. I it just mind blown. I'm like, well, I mean, the cars are all still here, well, what do you do? Now, before I seem to insinuate this is a like planned attack on my house or my cars, I don't, these guys probably don't know who I am. They, there's a good chance they have no idea who I am. This sort of auto theft has become so popular because think about it, all these cars are like most of these cars now, you have key fobs. Sometimes you just throw it in the cup holder, you forget about it. Sometimes you have like a Tesla or something, you leave the key card in for the valet, you drive home from dinner, you forget the cards in there. Thieves just drive around and look for cars and some telltale signs, right? Like if you leave your key in your car, the mirrors stay folded out. So when you turn your car off and you take your keys out, the mirrors fold in on a bunch of cars. So they're driving along, looking for cars with the mirrors folded out and being like, boom, boom, we got a car. So now this is 5.20 in the morning these guys pull up to my house, they get out, and I don't know if it's because they saw the Ferrari, because whatever the situation may be, they decide that Ferrari should be theirs, not mine, and they're gonna take it from me. And it didn't quite work out that way. Uh, they started over at the Ferrari, then they worked their way over to the Hyundai that, was, uh, but that Jeff was driving. This just shows you there's no gone in 60 seconds, like hit list where they're crossing them off the wall because they're going from a Ferrari to a Hyundai. So they're just taking anything that works. And then they try the Tesla. Uh, unfortunately for me, I didn't have my memory stick in the Tesla because uh, there was a nick on the rear bumper and I went to go look through sentry mode to see who damaged the rear bumper. I gave up after, I don't know, 60 gigabytes worth of like scrolling through sentry events. But I didn't get that on film. But you can see these guys are all over looking for all the, like, anything that moves and they're not like rifling through the stuff in the there was a gopro sitting in the uh in the hyundai they're not just taking anything they can and shoving it in their pockets these guys are here to take cars that are easily startable and drive off they're not hot wiring anything they're not doing anything now i'm a little offended because i had my little mini truck my diatsu was at the end of the driveway they didn't even try and that would have been great because that's a manual so that's got like the built-in theft protection in that like Half the people who try to steal cars can't even drive it because it's a stick shift. But they then decided they were going to take a couple of pictures of the, of the Ferrari and then bounce out because they can't get anything. 
that's a little weird to me that they took photos of the car. It could just be that they thought it was a cool car. It could be that they're planning on coming back for it. But they got so lucky because they then did a U-turn. So I'm thinking this is random, right? They're driving up the street. They see the car, like, let's go. Let's try to hit this guy. They can't get into the cars. They go and they leave. But then instead of continuing up the road, they then drive across the grass and go back the way they came, which was the one thing that made me think like, did these guys like scope me out and then like come specifically for my cars at 520 in the morning because they saw it parked outside or whatever the situation may be. That's what got me thinking. The fact that they just didn't continue on to sort of the next house and try to get a car there, I, I'm a little baffled by that. So I called the cops. Uh, I had the cops come in and just do a report. And we're trying to identify this where you guys can come in, trying to identify the car. It looked like, like a Kia or something like that. I don't know what it was, um, but if you can help identify it. Finding the license plate isn't gonna make a difference here because if you think about it, nobody goes to steal cars in a car that's registered to them. I guarantee somebody is looking for that car that they were driving. It's also probably stolen and uh, that car is, is going to be of no help. It's good to help them identify it. It's good to try to bring these guys in. The one guy wasn't, didn't have a glove on his one hand. We didn't dust for fingerprints or anything like that. I mean, I, I think this, this sort of fraud is so rampant, you just have to sort of catch these guys in the act because then you got to prove that he didn't touch the car in a parking lot somewhere. You can't just start r arresting random people. It's pretty wild. Uh, I, the reason I say these guys are lucky is because I wish they would have started my car. Like if they would have started that Ferrari, that would have been the best thing ever because hey, I was like sort of awake, not awake. Like I, I was like tossing and turning a little bit last night. And I guarantee you, my car makes a hell of a lot of noise. And if I heard that Ferrari start up, ba-boom. Like they may get it out of the driveway if they can figure out how to drive it in the reverse and all that stuff. But I'm awake. Uh, Jeff was sleeping over with Anna. They're awake we would be right in that Tesla and we would be right on their tail. And not like I'm gonna do this high speed pursuit, but I've got trackers in the car. So now I'm gonna just follow the tracker, call the cops and have that intersecting point where the cops stop them in the car. Now they're either gonna crash the car at that point in time because they're gonna try to run. The cops may not be able to chase, but this guy can chase. And I know it's a Ferrari versus a Tesla, but I am confident with me chasing them in my Tesla, that they would either crash the car or get caught. Like, I don't care who you are. You're not, you're not gonna be a car thief and get in and all of a sudden you are Nicolas Cage and drifting around corners or anything like that. I'm pretty confident I got this one. So they weren't getting away with my car. They may have crashed it, but they weren't getting away with it. And that's one of those things that they would have been in jail right now had they been able to start my car. So. It sucks, like, I don't like this happening. I don't like, and this is, like, I don't live in a high crime area by any stretch, but this is all over. And, and the easy targets are to drive through rich neighborhoods and start looking for cars. Cause like people let their guard down. I left the doors unlocked on two, uh, two of my cars. Um, my mini truck and my Ferrari both had the doors unlocked. Is it because I had a party yesterday and I just had to shuffle the cars around? Maybe, or maybe I leave the doors unlocked more often than I think. I never leave the keys in the car but I didn't think about all of this. So it was weird having this go down. Uh, it sucks. Um, I, this goes down a lot more than you think and half the time, even with like the trackers in the car, what the guys will do is they'll go drive the car, abandon it in Newark somewhere in some desolate spot. It's not, if, if it's reported stolen, not reported stolen, people will then go call the cops. They'll go look around in the usual areas. But if your car is parked in Newark and it's not reported stolen, guess what? Cause you didn't notice they disconnect the battery. When they disconnect the battery on the car, the tracker battery may die itself in a day or two days. Then they go scoop up the car. Then it goes to the chop shop or whatever they're doing. My Ferrari though, like, what are you gonna do? Like, what are you gonna do with my Ferrari in that, like, it's, how are you offloading? I mean, you have to go to a parts dismantler, like, and some dude walks into a parts dismantler having known there was a Ferrari with uh, stripes stolen with black wheels. I mean, it's gonna be pretty obvious uh, when stuff starts going. I don't know. I, I don't know what the end game was here. I didn't like it. These guys were professionals, but not professionals. They were in and out in two minutes, right? And they came, they did their thing and they were gone. 
They left the doors open on the cars because by opening the door, great, we're in. But when you close the door, it makes noise. So they leave the doors open. And I think the reason they leave the doors open is because if they close the doors, it makes noise and they don't want to wake anyone up. So they just open the door and they do that. It minimizes the amount of noise, but it also leaves my window open if it's going to rain. Luckily, we caught all this before it rained. That one muddy footprint is not mine. But they were so close to stealing the car. All they had to do was have this, which they did not have. Here, here's a quick little walkthrough of the aftermath of what happened uh, after the cops came and the cars, the placement in the driveway and everything like that. But I probably wouldn't have even looked at the camera had they shut the trunk on that. And I don't really take it personal. I don't think they're, they're coming after the Ferrari. I don't know because they tried to get the Ferrari. Then they tried to get Jeff's car. And uh, when they couldn't get Jeff's car, then they tried to take the Tesla. There's, there's a greasy fingerprint. Oh, you got a greasy fingerprint? That's yeah, cool. Very touching the camera. So we got, a, we got, oh, we do got a good fingerprint. You should, they should take that fingerprint and see what they can do with it. Oh, nothing. But the insulting part about all of this is, A, I forgot that I didn't have my uh, memory stick in the Tesla, so I don't have it on sentry mode, but we have, they're wearing ski masks. They're not going to identify it. But they weren't interested in my truck. And that's embarrassing. <laughs> it sucks because it's not like the Wild West. There's no disincentive for people to just go steal cars, right? Because it's easy. They, they, these guys are not like kicking in doors and getting keys or anything like that. They're coming. If something's easy, they drive away. If not, they move on to the next one. Um, leaving the doors open is one thing that you shouldn't do uh, or leaving them unlocked, but I get it. It's your car, it's your house. You don't always think to lock your car and you shouldn't have to. It's not your fault for not locking your car. They don't belong on your property stealing it. So it, it's really difficult to like blame the person who owns something for letting somebody else steal it. Like just, you're not allowed to steal my car. That's, that's how it works. So we'll see how this all plays out. These guys probably won't get caught. They're not gonna get caught anytime soon. If they were like legit car thieves and they needed that Ferrari or they needed my Tesla or they needed something like that, different story. They would have hot wired it. There would have been some other way to get that car out of there. But I mean, they should know that Ferrari is going to make, I mean, maybe they don't, that that Ferrari is going to make a lot of noise when they started at five in the morning. And five in the morning is very different than like one in the morning. One in the morning, people just fall asleep. They're in a deeper sleep. Five in the morning, certain productive people are up, maybe not on a Sunday morning, but, uh, it is towards the time where you're probably getting closer to waking up. So it was a late time. That's why the cameras look so vivid uh, because the sun has crested over and there's a little bit of daylight already at that point. So Rob Peretti, uh, be careful out there. Lock your cars. Gentle reminder, if, if you needed the reminder to lock your cars, be sure to lock them because nobody wants to have their car stolen even though you have insurance. And make sure you have insurance for theft if something happens. There has been a tremendous amount of theft in this area. Uh, just because it's easy for people to go grab cars, especially when you leave your keys in them and somebody can just push the button and start, start it up. Very different uh, if, if you have a key fob car than when you had the old key and you had to put it in, turn the key, and do that game. A lot of people had that on their key ring. Key fob, they may just have it in their pocket. They may leave it in the cup holder. They have a valet. Same thing, leave it in the cup holder is a problem. I don't get the idea with the Tesla though, because the Tesla is such a giant rolling battery. So stealing the Tesla wouldn't make a lot of sense because I can, tell, I can go on my app and tell you where my Tesla is at any point in time. There may be a trick to it for car thieves that steal Teslas. Post it in the comments below. I'm excited to read what that is because how you can disable the vehicle from tracking where it is, I, I don't know. We'll find out. Rob Ferretti, thank you for watching. Uh, remember, lock your cars, keep an eye out there. I've got new cameras. Uh, I've got some uh, Ubiquiti G4 Pros that I just didn't install. Otherwise, I would have much higher quality video to share with you. I do not. So you get the ring quality camera footage. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.